Hey everybody, I'm here today with part three of my how to solve a Rubik's Cube video series. In this in this video right here, I will be showing you how to solve the middle layer of the Rubik's Cube. So in the last two videos, I worked on solving the top white layer right here, the first layer. Now we will be finishing off the middle layer. So let's get right to it. For the last two videos, I have always had the white the white uh, side on top. But now we're going to flip it and we are going to get the yellow side on top. So basically, we are going to be solving for these this middle layer right here. Now if you take a look in the middle layer, um, all that we need to do is bring the edge pieces right here, uh, the edge pieces down, okay? So you can see that there's uh, there are a few edge pieces. There's one, two, three, four edge pieces that we have to bring down. Now, these edge pieces that belong here do not have any yellow in them because the yellow layer is up here. They will just have, like for instance, this one right here, this edge piece should be the orange and blue edge piece, okay? The orange and blue edge piece. So we're gonna figure out how to get the edge pieces into the right positions. So we're gonna look at the yellow layer and you are going to look around for any edge pieces that do not, I'm sorry, that do not have uh, any yellow in them. So I can see one right here. This is a red and green edge piece. So what I'm going to do is you can see that red is on this side right here that's facing me. I'm going to swing it over. I'm going to rotate it over to the red side. Okay. So this piece is red and green. If we look at the red side, we need to put this piece right here. Uh, in the in the on the edge that connects the red and green sides so you can see that when I'm looking at the red side because the red is right here the green side is on the right so we need to bring this to here we need to bring this here to the right and there's a specific algorithm that we can use to do that and once again um, I'll put all of the algorithms in the description of this video so you can go ahead and take a look at the description and read the algorithms but I will also be saying them for you so if you want to bring an edge piece from here okay from where it is on the yellow layer to the right you will use the following algorithm up oh sorry I'll just use the short forms U, R, inverted U, inverted R, inverted U, inverted F, U, F. So once again, I'll do that slowly right now and I will be bringing this piece right here, okay? So let's do it. U, R, inverted U, inverted R, inverted U, inverted F, U, F. Okay, now if we take a look at the red and green corner, the red and green edge, you can see that I brought the piece that was up here over here. It is in the correct spot. So now all that we have to do is do that for the rest of them. And hopefully I find one that belongs on the left so I can tell you that algorithm too. So let's look at the top for any pieces that do not have yellow in them. Okay, any edge pieces that do not have yellow. Right here, I see a red and a blue. This is actually perfect because it goes on the left. So it's right now it's on the red side, so it's in the proper on the proper side right now, but it needs to go right here because this is the edge piece that connects the red and the blue. So I need to bring it right here. So to bring this to the left, you will use the following algorithm. Inverted U, inverted L, U, L, U, F, inverted U, inverted F. So let's do that slowly together. Okay, well, let's, I'll show you. I will do it slowly for you right now, okay? Inverted U, inverted L. U, L. Sorry about that. <laughs> U, F, inverted U, inverted F. So as you can see right there, I brought the red and blue edge piece where it belongs. So let's just continue. I brought two of the four. Um, we just need two more. So right here is the orange piece, orange and green. If I take a look, it is on the orange side already, which is fine. I don't have to turn this layer. To, I don't have to move it anywhere because it's already on the orange side. And I need to bring it to the left right here, okay? Because that is where the green is. It's to the left. So let's go ahead and do the algorithm to bring it to the left. Inverted U, inverted L, U, L, U, F, inverted U, inverted F. 
And as you can see right there, I brought the edge piece to where it belongs, connecting the orange and green sides. And there should just be one more, which is right here. Let's find it. So it's over here on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead. I need to bring the blue piece facing us to the blue side. And then, as you can see, just to verify, it is the blue and orange piece, the blue and orange edge piece. Um, and I need to bring it right here, connecting the blue and orange sides. So it goes to the left. So I will do the left algorithm. Let's do it nice and slowly. Inverted U, inverted L, U, L, U, F, inverted U, inverted F. And if you take a look right there, I placed it in the right position and the right orientation. So as you can see right now, in this video, part three of the how to solve the Rubik's Cube series, I have shown you how to solve the middle layer. And you know, if you have watched part one, two, and three, you, can, you will be able to see that we have solved the first two layers. We solved the top layer and the middle layer now. In part four, I will be showing you how to get the, the yellow cross. So I will be showing you how to solve part of the yellow side. But for this video, I just wanted to show you how to solve the middle layer, and I have done just that. Once again, all of the algorithms will be in the description of this video. So make sure to take a look at the description if you want to read the algorithms in, the, in written format. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.